Hi everyone and welcome to week 29. As you probably have noticed by now, the Kong Drum Designer is a really powerful new device and it adds a lot of new features and new timbres to the Reason Rack. What I wanted to show you this week is some new effects that get added to the Reason Rack by using the Kong Drum Designer and how you can use those effects on sounds in your song, other devices or other tracks, and not just on the sounds that exist within Kong. If you've been tinkering with Kong at all, you probably have noticed that in the effect slots there are some new effects types that you did not have in previous versions of Reason or Record. Some of the brand new effects are a new compressor, a new state variable filter, Overdrive Resonator, which is somewhat like a mini Scream 4. Rattler, which simulates the sound being passed through a snare drum. Drum Room Reverb. Tape Echo, which simulates the sound of an old analog tape delay unit. and the transient shaper, which mainly affects the signal's attack or transients and will really make the sound cut through in a mix. As you can hear from just these few examples, these effects could be really useful for other devices or tracks in your song. So, how can we use them? The FX1 and FX2 slots right over here can only be used for sounds that are generated, sampled, or created by Kong itself, and are triggered on the pads. But, the bus effects and master effects slots are the ones that can be used for some external devices. Make sure you click the Show Drum and Effects arrow, and then flip the rack around. Have a look at the back of the Kong device at the bottom here. See the audio inputs here and here? This one feeds audio to the effect which is selected on the bus effects slot. And this one feeds to the master effects slot. If we wanted to use these two effects as two separate send effects from a mixer channel, we would connect the outputs from the AUG sends to these inputs. Now, to get a separate output for each effect slot, we need to connect these outputs, which are for the bus effects, to their own AUGS returns, and the main audio outs of the Kong device, which will be the output from the master effects, to their own AUGS returns. You should be aware that if you're going to use a Kong device for just the effects, you probably do not want to use it to generate any other type of sound. So make sure it's initialized before you start using it. 
Since the bus effects can be routed to the master effects by using the level knob here, you could also set up a multi FX chain. Anyone for a tape delay feeding into a ring mod? Of course, if you wanted to get really creative, you could use a whole bunch of Kong devices and pack them inside of a combinator and use them as effects processors. And there are actually quite a few patches inside the Record Factory sound bank that showcase this possibility. Well, that's it for me this week. Again, I'm James Bernard from Propellerhead Software, and I'll see you all next week. Bye.